Is coding going to be automated? A quick look at Google searches shows that I'm not the only one to ask this question. The fear or concern of AI that it will overtake or take over our jobs, especially as developers in the tech industry, is something I hear all the time. Not only from people that are already in the industry, but also too from people who are considering becoming a developer, but wondering, well, is my job going to be taken over in the next five, 10, 20, however many years? So I'm going to break it down for you today, what I think will happen and I really don't think it's as straightforward as, is AI going to take over coding, yes or no? I'm gonna break down to you today why that is. Is coding going to be automated with AI? I think a bit of yes and no. Yes, software engineering will continue to be more automated, but it doesn't mean our jobs will necessarily be lost. Automation is a huge win for companies as it reduces their software development costs. More software can be produced in less time. The demand for software is only increasing and with automation being able to lower software costs, it brings up a lot of business opportunities for different companies. Okay, so you're probably at this point thinking, I'm not going to become a software developer or if I am one, I'm just gonna jump onto a different kind of career. It doesn't seem very promising. Everything's going to be automated, but don't freak out just yet. While the industry and technology is continuously changing, it doesn't mean that software developers will be out of a job. What it does mean though, is we need to be open to continually learning and growing our skills as the tech grows as well. One thing we have as humans and as software developers is the ability to have soft skills and really hone on those skills and grow those skills. Being able to make decisions not based on always logic, but based on emotion as well. And that's something unique that we can bring to the table. A lot of times in the past, software engineering has been focused solely on the coding and logic side of things and actually building things. And the soft skills were more kind of put to the side, but now more than ever, we really need to use both sides of things. The hard skills, the technical skills, but also to our soft skills. In the future, every programmer will need to have a better understanding of algorithms and data structures. And going back to the non-technical skills, non-technical skills are not as easy to automate and they also are a way to really distinguish programmers from one another. Things like creativity, problem solving, people skills all around are going to continue to become more and more important as a developer. Having not only the technical skills, but also the soft skills and the emotional intelligence to continue to make better informed decisions based on what you are building will continue to be more and more important. As well, the ability to continually learn and grow and adapt as the technology does too. So what is my advice? Well, my advice as a developer is to continue to learn and grow your skills. Be aware of machine learning, AI, and different things coming up. And also to be aware that AI and machine learning in a lot of aspects is not where we think it is. It's not this crazy thing sometimes. I mean, listen, when I ask Siri a question, still a lot of the times, she does not know what I am talking about. So we're definitely not at the point where our jobs are going to be automated tomorrow, but more so having those skills and mindsets of continually being able to learn and grow. And also to being aware that algorithms, data structures, working with machine learning and AI is definitely something we'll have to be open to come the future. If you are someone who is just starting learning code or considering getting into the industry, does this mean you should solely focus on AI? In my personal opinion, no, it doesn't. And why I say that is because as a developer or really anyone in tech, you're always learning and growing your skills. So if you are starting learning code right now and you're focusing on web development or mobile development, continue on that path. Be an expert at it, get a lot of skills in it before you completely switch to something else. And also too, when you eventually get a job and are in the workforce, it's one of those things where you'll continually be using those skills so you have more time to learn other skills such as machine learning or AI. So don't freak out yet. You don't have to completely change career paths or completely change your learning path. Stick to what you're doing. Just be open to continually learning. This all being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments about what do you think? Will coding be automated fully? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I want to hear and I will make sure to respond to them. And also to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you all soon.